chapter one, the call, finding the right way. Dr. Gordon, what is the essence of this chapter and how do we find the right way? Well, I, I, my chapters, I've, I've borrowed some and adapted from Joseph Campbell from his book on the, called The Hero with a Thousand Faces. And it's a, you know, an important, very readable book about the journey of the hero. And the hero can be a woman as well as a man, of course, and what those stages of self-realization are. And to me, in a modified form, those stages are the same ones that we need to move through as we're dealing with depression. And the first one is the call, the call to the journey, uh, which means, okay, I, I guess I'm depressed. I'm not feeling so good. I, um, you know, I don't enjoy getting up in the morning. I don't, I'm not thrilled to go into work. My, uh, uh, my husband doesn't look so good anymore. <laughs> I'm irritable with my kids. Something's not, something's not right. And rather than dismiss that, Mm -hmm. There's a temptation to, mm -hmm. particularly perhaps in our society where we say, get over it fast, suck it up, move on, move ahead, mm -hmm. take a pill to make yourself feel better, or just ignore it. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is pay attention to the call. The call is letting you know that something is out of balance in your life, and that what you need to do is to find ways to reestablish that balance. So it's really important. If you don't pay attention to the call, nothing is ever going to change. Absolutely. It's that acceptance, that recognition that I need help. Exactly. And that me hating my kids or my family isn't a normal experience. And it, it's not a normal emotion I should be feeling. Because I think you're right. A lot of us, when we go through that time period, and I've gone through it, we think that that's actually how life really is, as opposed to the fact that it's actually an imbalance that is making me feel that way. And that separation of the way I'm feeling is not how I should be feeling comes, I think, from learning to separate yourself from your mind. And that comes from meditation or it comes from, I think, inner reflection. So, um, yeah. Exactly. I, exactly. Becoming aware of it. And you may need a little time and a little space to become aware of it. Mm -hmm. Writing down in a journal what's going yes. on can be very helpful too, because all of a yes. sudden you start seeing things on the page that yes. come out of, or coming out of your unconscious or your imagination or your intuition that may not come easily when you're just trying to make a list. So you just write down what's going on with you. And all of a sudden you start discovering, oh, you know, I, I find that I'm really most unhappy at this particular time of day when this is happening, or it's this particular kind of interaction, or I'm really craving something more in my work situation, whatever it might be. I think that that, but the more you can recognize what's going on in, in the beginning, the better. But if you don't, that's okay too, as long as you have a sense that you need to do something about parts of your life that are not working for you. And for those of you listening or watching the video, please note, we're gonna put in a link to the health journal, which is, as some of you know, the free health journal that I wrote and used myself to heal. It has sections in it where you can put in a word of gratitude, track your moods on a daily basis and start to see patterns. So if you're watching or listening, don't forget to go to health boot camps, look at the show notes, and we'll put a link in for a free 30-day journal you can download. Because I think Dr. Gordon, journaling is scientifically proven, am I right? In yes. terms of the, the incredible value and benefit in tracking your moods and coming to some kind of an understanding of how your inner being is feeling yes, at this time. There's wonderful research, if, if some of the viewers want to check it out, by, by James Pennebaker and his colleagues at the University of Texas, showing that if you write in a journal as little as 20 minutes on three successive days about things that you're feeling that are of emotional importance, you can decrease your level of anxiety, improve your mood, decrease stress hormones. This is very powerful medicine. And if you do it regularly, you know, pretty much every day, the difference can really be quite important over time. So it's important for realizing what's going on. And just the act of writing is itself therapeutic. And like you said, it is really a medicine. I wrote an article called Why This Is My Number One Medicine, because it is a medicine. It's just, it doesn't come in a box, in a pill, but it certainly is a medicine.